Catching up with Chris. Hello again, and welcome back to Catching Up with Chris. Today's episode, I'll be talking about some adventures that I think that everyone should go on by themselves at least once. Like the wise poet Jason Derulo once said, I'm solo. I'm writing solo. Solo. The first thing is take yourself on a trip to the movie theater. This is a very liberating experience because you can pick whatever movie you want to see and there is no one that you have to agree or disagree with. It's solely whatever you want. This is perfect. There will be no shame in what you order on the menu. You get to be one with your true self and your true feelings. No one is there to tell you how you should and should not feel about this movie. There are no pressures to react the same way as the person next to you. Maybe they're laughing at something and you're not laughing. Why aren't you laughing? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Maybe you accidentally cried more than twice at the One Direction concert movie and the only other people there were little girls and their fathers. Not from personal experience. Maybe you're at a movie that's not even a scary movie and something just happened to pop out and you screamed out loud. But no one was there to judge you, well, except for the strangers. But no one is there to tell your friends about it afterward. The second thing that you should do is go for a nice, long, very long walk outside, maybe to a local park or a nearby forest, maybe the beach, just nature in general. This is a really great time to be one with your thoughts, collect yourself, reflect on a lot of good things that maybe you're thinking about, maybe kind of get rid of the bad things, and have a very mental cleanse, if you will. Nature can also be very inspiring. Maybe you needed an idea for a homework assignment or writing a song with your band. If you're lucky, you might even make friends with the nearby woodland creatures, like the little tiny squirrels or the baby birds, and then you can hang out all the time and maybe, if you're even more lucky, they can start making all of your outfits like they did for Cinderella. Or if you're near water, you might find a passed out mermaid and she'll ask you to be her best friend when you wake her up and take her back to the sea where she belongs and she can finally be true to herself and fall in love, etc. Now I know what you're thinking. Those aren't realistic things. And all I have to say to you is, that's really rude to squash somebody's dreams like that. Maybe if you venture far enough into the nature, you might find a secret tunnel that could lead you to Hogwarts or Narnia and you can be in that series forever. The third thing that everyone should experience by themselves at least once is to plan and take a trip somewhere all alone. Now this is a great way to really find out who you are as a person and get in touch with your true self. It's very eat, pray, love. It's a great way to find out what you like and dislike. No one is there to influence you. You can really do whatever you wanna do. You can go your own way. It's just a great experience overall. And you never know, you can end up on the back of somebody's Vespa because you look like an international pop star and that person just went in hiding and now you have to cover your tracks and take that person's place and be the new international pop star. Then you'll fall in love with your duet partner. Then you'll expose a scandal. Then you'll realize you were actually in love with your best friend the whole time and you sing a killer number at the end. And now you're probably on to me and you are suspicious but that sounds an awful lot like the plot of the Lizzie McGuire movie, but all I have to say to you is, it had to have come from somewhere, and you don't know that it couldn't happen to you. Well, it's been a really great year. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out Dow Student Life on Facebook and Twitter.